Welcome everyone to the hit video James experience cross code <laughs> version 1.4.2-1 I don't know honestly <laughs> So last time as you may have noticed was not the time travel episode where I did side quests all day no Last time is the episode where we went on a video game raid, and then got sent to gay baby jail. <laughs> so, really, the, really, the burning question on everyone's mind has to be, Ash, where do you think the story's gonna go next? I... I don't know. <laughs> I legit I was not expecting the plot to come back in like this. <laughs> you really weren't expecting it after I specifically asked you about it last time, huh? No, you you bamboozled me. Shh. <laughs> ah. Uh, yeah, we're all here to have a fun time. And a fun time includes uh turning off the art plug. I'm so sorry. <laughs> No, I think the art plug should be the entire stream. I think my old art from fucking August should just be on screen all day, every day. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Welcome here. We have exactly 1,111 health. And I really don't think we got anything for actually managing to last so long against them. Um... Whatcha fuck? His face. Blue. Yeah, you blue. got the joy of lasting for 10 minutes. Yeah. Oh, his name's literally Blue Avatar. Jesus. Yeah, we, we don't know his name. He's just a weird man. He's just a weird man who deserves no rights. <laughs> trying to think. Is he in the Monster Fibula? He should be, since he, tech since he should count as a boss fight. Yeah! That would make sense. Oh, hello! The information has is. been redacted. Oh! Oh, that's fun. Which is interesting, because, like, who's redacting this information considering huge hostile crab isn't redacted? <laughs> like, this is not an enemy that exists in the playground, and yet it does have an entry. Well, someone really doesn't want you to know about our blue man. Yeah. Alright. Well, anyway, I don't think we have, like, anything good to improve ourselves with until I do time travel, so whatever. The door's locked, correct? It seems you're trapped. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go to bed. Well... <laughs> Good night. Yoink. Whoop. Hello, sir. <laughs> Gotham? Is that you? Uh, I'm trying to think. Should I? I think you should voice this guy. Oh, I should, should I? Yeah. All right, let me. Mm. I'm sorry to force your Hello. acting chops back on. <laughs> Long time no see. To be fair, your energy and his should be about the same right now, huh? Because this guy's God, just... I'm... <laughs> this guy is just tired. Spiritually relating to him. Hi. So, you started talking? But your vocabulary seems fairly limited, no? Just who exactly put you back into the game, anyway? You were not supposed to be... around anymore. Why? You still don't remember, no? What about this room? Does it at least look familiar? 
I see. So your memory might return sooner or later. That's worrisome. Why? I had better not tell you too much. Anyway, we have a little something for you to do. Just wait a moment, please. I'm glad Gotham Batman is so, so tired. <laughs> Just, he wants a nap. Also, okay. Let's really quick just reset. Let's really quickly reset the Discord call because my audio is kind of popping. Oh. Yeah, like, I'm not even sure if it's audible on stream for you guys. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was actually like. I'm not sure if it was popping in a way that was audible at the stream. My computer was just doing that thing where, like, the speaker on it was popping out a bit when you're talking. Ugh. Which is not the same as the feed, but, you know. Gotham, just what exactly are you doing here? Shouldn't you be in, like, DC? <laughs> like, I'm going the to... The DC universe is encroaching on our... <laughs> on our IP. We gotta get him out of here. Yeah, like, I'm sorry, but I can't think of another pronunciation for Gotham City here. How? Oh, wait. I'm so sorry, everyone. I forgot to actually give you visuals. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a black screen for a minute. <laughs> you do not... <laughs> yeah. This is the fun time you signed up for, babe. Yes! Finally! Joy! You do not remember Gotham? Sergey! She doesn't remember anything! He used to be an old colleague of mine. One that went missing several years ago. Yeah! We've only figured out how to put your coma brain in here like a month ago. Chew on that for a bit. Ooh. Why? Actually, was it a month? I feel like in-game I might have been close to, like, maybe a week and a half. Yeah, it's not been that long. It's been Leia's wild, fucked-up week. I do not know. Oh, is this me? I'm pretty sure. Alright. Leia, can you hear me? Please step outside and exit the corridor to the west. Then south. Somebody you know will be waiting outside. Hmm. Leia. <sighs> you should do as he says. I will tell you more about Gotham soon. For now- Sergei, I'm gonna fucking rattle you! Why don't you give me all the information right now? For now, let us try to figure out where exactly we are. Honestly, it's such a weird kind of whiplash to go to this, like, very chill, if, um ominous place after that freaking bonkers fight. Yeah, like, you had a really weird, crazy fight, and now you're just kind of here, and you're not, like, in immediate danger. Like, honestly, the music in here sounds like you're in a freaking elevator. A little bit, yeah. Shout out to this being the most peaceful looking area, though. What is this place? Purple water? This is strange. I roughly remember something along those lines from early content production. Anyway, this is most definitely not the official playground. I will do a bit of research about this place. Oh. Hi! Lero. <laughs> Leia, you're here as well? They told me to meet up with another player. Is that you? I see. Man, this place is weird. 
And it looks like we're stuck here, right? At least I can't seem to teleport away. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce any of these words. I'm not even exactly sure how we ended up here. Any idea? Anyway, I guess we both are supposed to start a party. So, shall we? Alright then. Schneider joined your party. Epic. There is quite the level difference between us, but I guess that's not important now. Next station will be the quest hub of this area. They want us both to show up there for a quest. It's right over there to the west. Well then, let's go! You're remarkably calm for this. Schneider is here as well? Does that mean regular people can come here? Because this is not the official zone. <laughs> Also, yes, just to confirm, if we go to our map, we have an idea of where we are, but our teleports, oh. our teleports are blocked. Mm. Yeah, we're literally on the other side of the donut. Fucked up. And, just to be sure, we can't contact fucking anyone. Including Schneider, who's fucking level 60, uh -huh. by the way. Uh, yeah, he sure is. Although we can see Emily's online, so that's fun. Oh, that is fun, I hate that. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. Arrgh, okay now. Now hang on. <laughs> uh. Maybe we're... <laughs> Maybe we can't actually see the status of everyone else. Maybe that's just what it was like when we joined. Maybe this is just what it was like when we did the raid. Because <laughs> Schneider's level isn't matching up. Yeah, it sure ain't. Yeah. Alright. Oh yeah. So, a little fun fact about this area. We can technically fight. Except, you see that thing on the right? Yeah... Oh... Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's this area's special gimmick. If you try to fight the guards here, you will just get fucking hammered by a goddamn orbital strike. They've just got the nukes prepped and ready for you. Yeah, if they see you, you die. Yeah. Hmm. At the very least, we can never... From what I remember, we can't actually come back here once we leave, so everything should be accessible right now. Okay. Yeah, because technically the only time we come back is for the grand finale. And during the grand finale, we're a little too busy to be picking up random chests with loot face for, you know, level 35s. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine why. <laughs> I... I love this, actually. <laughs> Tell stories to each other, but they don't actually know any stories, so they're just telling recipes. You know what? That's valid. I'm actually curious if this is like an actual recipe. I mean, it's detailed enough to be one, I would think. Oh, she just looped. Okay. <laughs> That's odd, but okay. Let's see, what have we got? Hello. You can purchase consumables here. Thanks, lady. 
Thanks. Me when I can purchase consumables here. Yeah. Hello. You can purchase equipment here. No personality here. These are just drones. Also, yeah, our gear's a little bit behind. Fucking this shit's anything to go by. Unfortunate. Ah, oh, well. Bit of a stat difference on our hat, but that's about it. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to go for it, just because, like, 33 focus is a lot, you know? Whatever. Hmm. What else? We've also got some trades here, which I assume are only applicable to this area, using stuff from this area. God, this place is so fucking menacing. Yeah, like, this area is just... ominous. Yeah. If we could get some materials, we could actually do pretty well here. Yeah, Nifty Grey Shades, which seem like the best. We need something called Elemental DNA. Hunter's Bowl and the Sunset Claw, neither of which seems su- Oh, the Sunset Claw is just better than the Winter Claw, that's fun. <laughs> like, we lose out on some Brawler, but we do get some Avenger, and Avenger gives SP when you guard attacks. Which is alright. Uh -huh. Yeah, other than that, I don't think it's worth upgrading our current chest piece because, well, you know. Okay, so we don't- okay, so I don't <laughs> need to actually worry about trading stuff up for the shin kickers. Cool. Just gotta get some materials in. Out of these very... very looking plants. <laughs> The most area of all time. Cool security brute with 10,000 HP. <laughs> Holy shit. That's the quest hub. They got a holographic projector up there. Just like in Rookie Harbor. Recruits, welcome to Operation Trackwalker, Subdivision Project Red. Our goal is to explore and investigate the Vermilion Wastelands and find their connection to the track. Your first task is to inspect the Southern Trial Building. It's located in the River Delta region to the south. To gain access to the building, you need to locate and activate these devices in the same area. That is all. Good luck, and be careful. I find it fascinating how the zone is apparently, like, technically functional. That was brief. How? How indeed? How does the- how does this connect to the rest of the lore? What even is Project Red? Oh man, the lore? <laughs> the lore! <laughs> I wonder if Lynn would know anything about this. Too bad I can't seem to contact her. Or anybody else for that matter. Lucas, can't you just like log off? Text someone maybe? Uh, they'll address this later. Oh, that's fun. I don't know what else to do, so let's just try and solve that quest, alright? Yeah. They'll adjust this later, but I guess it's not a big spoiler. Everyone in- no one in the zone can log out. That's fucked. That's- that's so fucked, actually. I hate that. Yeah. So, how do you predict the plot's gonna go? <laughs> Is it gonna turn into Sword Art Online? You know what? I'll give you this hint. It never- it's still not Sword Art Online somehow. <laughs> as hard as that is to believe, it does- it is not Sword Art Online, and it never becomes a Sword Art Online situation. Aww. I mean, it sort of is a Sword Art Online situation, but with all these people desperately trapped here in awkward and horrifying circumstances. Although there's no permadeath, so that's nice. <laughs> now. Yeah, we've got one of these devices. How do we activate it? And where are we supposed to come to Crimson Lake first? 
No, we want to go south. Right. You needed to go to the, the building or something. Yeah, the southern child building. I thought it was the western child building. Yeah, like, honestly, what are you supposed to do in this grim, depressing little wasteland? Yeah, this, this looks like it sucks. <laughs> yeah, there's a weird balancing to this zone, too, because Schneider's so high above us, like, it's ridiculous. Yeah, like, yeah, like we could fight these things, but considering how much health they have, they honestly do seem like they're more balanced for, uh... Snyder. Because, like, we get yeah, the experience. Yeah, perhaps someone who is double your level. Yeah, we do get the experience if they die, no matter what. I mean, I guess that's fun. Yeah. Like, hell, the trial buildings are specifically balanced towards a player of Snyder's level and not ours. So a lot of the fights, a lot of the trials here are just trying to survive long enough for Schneider to take them out. Hmm. Which, which I think is a fun change of pace. Although I'm glad it doesn't... Yeah, that's a... Yeah, I'm glad it doesn't extend I'll to continue. the rest of the game, but yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Like, that's a good way to, like, shake things up a little bit without completely upending your combat scenarios. All right, that's one of them. Oh no, whatever will we do? Oh no, a bunch of enemies. Whatever will we do? Like we could <laughs> fight. Like honestly, it's kind of annoying Schneider's here for the basic enemies because they are because they are at our level technically. <laughs> we can't like there's just no possibility of having a good fight here, you know. <laughs> Hell, I don't even think we can build up much of a chain against these guys just because of how far apart they are. Hmm. Where's the last one? Oh, that one. Okay. We just suddenly gained the ability to leap twice as far for no reason. <laughs> you unlock a long jump. Woohoo! Woo! Ha! Yahoo! Oh wait, these are cold. No, they're still neutral. God, like he does so much damage for damage. He's a, he's a big, strong man who loves video games. Yeah. Yeah, the people here aren't doing super well. Yeah, <laughs> ma'am. Yeah. Ah. Uh. What was that noise in response to? I just, I'm like, all of that, the entire bit with that woman. Yeah, some of the people here must have been tr must have been here for a very long time. Uh, is this place, like, a corrupted part of the game? Like, why are they here? This is like a beta zone. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure why they're here exactly. I mean, I know, but I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> yeah, you do in fact know, considering you've played this before. No, I know exactly why they're here. I don't know why they're here exactly. <laughs> I... It must... It's basically just because this is like a weird beta area of the playground, so it's not in use and it's not being developed, so I guess this is where they can keep people without being noticed. Yeah. Schneider, we've been at this for like three seconds, okay? <laughs> Schneider! Schneider, we just started, bud. I still can't believe this guy's fucking Zack Schneider of the Schneider Cut.
Like genuinely, I'm so curious. Is the Schneid is Schneider like an actual word in like Polish or wherever he's from? I mean, I'd imagine it would have to be a real word. It would be exceedingly funny if it's literally just a reference to Zack Schneider. <laughs> of the aforementioned Schneider cut. Because, <laughs> like, there's no reason for it to be like that, you know? Oh shit, it's multiplying. Oh! And now that it's multiplied, it's now a cold virus. Or perhaps it was always a cold virus. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. Right, so now those things are being preserved by this. It's a very odd setup we've got going on here. <laughs> ah, I see. We gotta wait for them to attack us. Once they do, the antivirus just snipes in the cold virus. Fascinating. Huh. Oh no, whatever will we do? There's four of them. Oh, now. more enemies. But hey, level up. Nice. Oh, we gotta hit them all in a certain order, I think. Or at least fast enough. Oh. Alright, that's two. I'm sure Emily would love the number of laser bridges in here. <laughs> it's too bad our, our girlfriend is trapped in the actual zone of this video game. Yeah. All right. A little mean. That was wrong button. <laughs> I'm sorry. You got this, babe. Schneider was hiding it. <laughs> Schneider is committing acts of sabotage against us. These war cards will not be forgiven. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, I see. That's mean. <laughs> Rude and mean to gamers. Ah, that's quick. It is. Alright, now we just gotta hit this one more time, so that we can go across and get up. Never mind. <laughs> we have trapped Schneider. <laughs> Bye! Rude children go in fucking... Rude children go in the cliff zone. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's in the child building. As soon as we activate this. Oh no, whatever will we do against all these viruses? Not more small enemies. Oh, hey, Psyche. Oh, welcome. Oh, all right. We just assumed it was a reference to the Schneider Cut, which, yeah, fair enough. I think this game predates those things existing. Maybe. Right, so this is a trial building. Does that mean more of those low-level virus thingies? I'm fine with those, just keep them coming. <laughs> Bye. 
No, really, it would be troublesome if they threw high-level enemies at us now. It's better that way. Alright. Time to see these nice low-level enemies, huh? Time for them to throw some high-level enemies at us now. Yeah, see? It's a red virus. A heat virus. Oh. I'm sure that means nothing good, by the way. That's... Oh, I see. Do we need to trigger both of these? That's... You know what? I don't quite understand the mechanics of this myself. <laughs> oh god, damn it, kitten slayer. Freaking bots. I guess we just have to take it out. Oh no, it's multiplying. Oh. There are mechanics triggering this, I just don't remember what they are, like, at all. It's like, it's definitely doing something to convert these to antiviruses. There are mechanics going on here, but I can't process them for the life of me. Maybe we need to hit them when they're, like, moving in towards... I... I don't know, honestly. <laughs> Just gonna have a sandwich. No, eat some food. God, there's so much in this room right now. <laughs> I guess we just sort of have to, like, drive them into each other. Which, alright, sure. Makes about as much sense as anything else. Oh, I see. We just have to get them close to each other. Alright. Oh, look. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. That thing is level 60? Guess I jinxed it. Better stay on your guard, Leia. I'll try to knock it down as fast as possible. Yeah, level 60, Arunji. With 20,000 HP. <laughs> this is quite literally an endurance test now. Because the amount of damage we do to this thing is negligible compared to what Schneider's doing. <laughs> Oh god, it's a Rubik's Cube. Oh. Oh jeez, so much damage. Oh goodness. You hit! Why are you sniping for me? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, let's swap into cold mode, because that has the highest defense. Come on, you're so close. Yeah, Schneider, hurry up! Schneider, just hit him! Thank you. Ugh. Yeah, that sure was a fight, huh? Yeah. Yep. Oh, can't see anything. Somebody mind turning on the light? Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> um, it's just a room? Looks like a lobby of sorts. It's strangely familiar, but I can't quite pinpoint it. This is weird. It's very weird. Why? 
I don't know. Something just feels very weird. Ah, uh, yes, because this is the most normal situation. <laughs> it's probably about time for me to log out. Huh. Looks like we spent enough time in the room. So, what exactly was the point of all this? I really don't get this place. Let's go. You know what? It was for enrichment. <laughs> yeah, we can at least teleport in here, if nothing else. That's helpful. So, I suppose we should hand in the quest at the hologram portal again? Thank you for fulfilling your objective. Now get the fuck out of my room. <laughs> Go the fuck back to bed, buddies. We got more stuff for you later. Okay, bye! Man, I really don't remember Questman being that aggressive, huh? <laughs> Man, everyone here is just really rude. What? How? That's gotta be the laziest quest writing I've ever seen! Did I get this right? We're supposed to return to our rooms? Did they seriously assign rooms to all the players here? What is this? Some kind of prison? Yeah, you're a gay baby jail, Lucas. Didn't you read the, the stream title? <laughs> yeah, Lucas. I'm gonna be honest. I feel like Schneider's got some weird memory thing going on. Because, like, wasn't he on the raid too? He seems oddly. Yes. He seems oddly nonchalant about being here all of a sudden. He's, like, handling all this way too well. This is stupid. You know what? I'll just log off. Right now. Gotta look up how to get out of this place. Anyway, thanks for playing with me, Leia. See you soon! Bye! Oh. Oh, welcome back. Oh, hey! What? Am I still in the game? This can't be right. Again? Is the system broken? I'll just remove the... Oh, that's a good sprite. Oh, Uh-oh. I... I can't... remove the cross gear. What is going on here? When you're having perfectly normal conversation. <laughs> we're being- we're all so normal here. Am I stuck in the game now or what? Wait! Hey, you two, what is- what is it with this place? Add the sesame, season of pepper and oregano. Aha, so good! Hey, are you listening to me? Add lemon juice, add the pineapple, stir fry for 20 minutes. What the heck is wrong with you? What's up, man? You... what is it with this place? Sorry, I don't know. Can't you log out either? Nope, none of us can. What? We're all stuck here. You 
must be joking. Hey, Metal Face, talk to me! Wait! Damn it, this can't be real! No, don't attack them! Like, Lucas could probably solo all those if it weren't for the fucking Hammer of Thor. God! This is fucked. Perfectly normal. Me when I'm having video game time with my friends. I just died and respawned, didn't I? Well, at least we won't die in real life when we die in game. That's something. Thank you, Lucas. See, I told you it's not an SAO situation. Thank you for explicitly telling me that this is not Sword Art Online. Do you remember that strange feeling I mentioned before? I figured it out. I can't remember things. I can't remember what is outside of the game. Oh jeez. Now doesn't that sound That's... familiar? Ah! Is it the same for you? Man, doesn't that sound familiar? How they? Homst! I see! Things are just very blurry right now. Do you think our memories will return? Did... Did it already happen for you? That... is good to know. I mean, yeah, our memories did return, but they were all memories of this place. Yeah, they returned. They're not, like, returned in full. <laughs> There's got to be a way out of this. There just has to be. Let's return to our rooms, okay? Maybe there is a way to properly rest in there. However that works. Leia, do I understand this correctly? All the avatars in this area cannot log out. Why? Sorry, I do not know. This is all extremely bizarre. I looked a bit into this place. Leia, is something the matter? Just go ahead. I'll tell you later. Yep. Welcome to the Vermilion Wasteland. Welcome to hell! Population! Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm. <sighs> well, here we are. My room's up here. Yours? I see. Let's try to rest and meet up tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Bye! Good night, Leia. Looks like we're locked in again. This whole situation is getting stranger every minute. Okay, first. About this place. Vermilion Wasteland was the name, right? This place was originally developed for Crossworlds, but the project was put on hold. They already developed a large part of the environment, but ultimately, the area was never integrated into the playground. They never came up with a trash element. <laughs> no avatar is supposed to enter this place. How? I'm wondering that too. How could those avatars end up in this place? How? Huh? You mean something else? Oh. Do you wonder how I know all this, or do you wonder how I'm fucking talking to you right now? <laughs> well, I suppose there is no point in hiding it. I'm an Instatainment employee. Oh. I've been involved in the creation of Crossworlds. For many years already. Like, let's be honest, that 
what was the other option? What was the initial option we thought of? That he was like, what? A weird fucking orderly at a hospital? Yeah, that was like the initial premise, but past a certain point, it's like, no, you're fucking... <laughs> like, this guy is very obviously not an orderly at any point. This is like... <laughs> that is why I have access to internal documents. Some of them, at least. Bill, I was not aware that development of this, regi of this region had continued in any way. This place should be abandoned, for all I know. I mean, it is possible this is a confidential project we're not supposed to know about. But I highly doubt that. <laughs> the fact that the avatars here cannot seem to log out is even more strange. And their loss of memory as well. Wait... Hmm? Yes, just like you, Leia. Their situation is very similar to yours. Let us hope they have no prophecies. But I doubt those players are all in a coma. Why? Leia, there's something I... No. Sorry, I think I just misunderstood Sergey! <laughs> Why? Anyway, there is nothing we can do in this room. <laughs> so I suggest we call it a day, alright? Wait. Why? I believe this is our first instance of Angry Leia. Yeah, I'd be upset too! Leia, please. There is nothing left to talk about. The history has not been made yet. Good night. I think it would've been funny if we just snapped back in, like, right now. <laughs> so, how is it going so far? First results are pretty positive. You recognized her immediately. Otherwise, he recalls things more quickly, I think. Good. Please keep a close eye on them. Oh, oh memory time. Oh, you're awake? You look so peaceful while you were sleeping. I didn't want to wake you up. Anyway, shall we revisit the lesson from yesterday? I think this guy's you. It's, oh. It's probably Gotham. Hello. <laughs> Long time no see. They denied my proposal. Again. Damn it. I'm here, here to come up with interesting game scenarios and challenges. I need a little bit of creative freedom to do my job. Hmm. I wonder if that sounds like anyone we know. Oh. Gotham, that is what teamwork is all about. Apparently I was blocked oh. before. You have to find the compromise. <laughs> Flawed Sergey! <laughs> The best we'll ever get is mediocrity that way. There are too many conventional thinkers in this company. Right, Satoshi? What can I say? Oh, wait. No, this is the dude who died oh. in the prologue. Oh, this is me. <laughs> I don't... What can I say? They just want to keep making the games they know. They have a genius like you on board and don't make proper use of it! Rejecting your big AI project proposal. Well, to, uh, to be honest, that went way beyond what you would need for a game like Crossroads. Oh, I don't like how the text is flickering. 
<laughs> are you sure? I think there are a lot of applications. In fact, I'm currently working on a list of them. So you plan to pitch the idea to them again? Of course I will. It's just way too promising. What? I don't work that much, really. And I do it because it's what I want to do. No need to worry. You should listen to your dear caring sister, Mr. Workaholic. You too, Sergey. Well, that about confirms it. We were we were Shizuka before all this. Yeah, that's just <laughs> Spell it out for us in case you hadn't caught on yet. Wait! Oh, good morning, Leia. Did you have another non-prophetic dream? Good. Did you remember something new? Was it another place? Oh, was it a person? That is new. Okay, who could it be? Was it an avatar? Somebody logged in the Crossworlds? Okay, not a player then. Was it Gotham City by any chance? <laughs> of course, you saw him yesterday. This must have triggered the memory. Did you see anybody else? You... you saw me? Hmm, was there a third person? Black messy hair, lean figure... Nothing else I can say about him really. <laughs> That must have been Satoshi. Okay, Leia. I think now is the right time to tell you more about yourself. Yes, I do know a few things about you. We knew each other in the past. However, I thought it was safest for you to recover your memories by yourself. After all, this is part of your... healing process. Anyway, if you remember Gotham, Satoshi, and me, this must have been from about five years ago. Back then, all of us were employees of entertainment. That is right, we were all involved in the development of Crossworlds. And Satoshi, he is your brother. I'm sure you'll remember more about him soon. Anyway, about four years ago, all three of you went missing. Nobody knew exactly what happened to you. There was no way to track you down, and the voice, and that mysterious other voice is very concerned. And believe me, I tried. That was until I found you, again, lying in a hospital. And with you being awake in Crossworlds, your memories are my only lead to Satoshi and the others. I want to get you to wake up, and I want to find out what exactly has happened to you and the others. Whatever did happen, I'm sure it has to do with this place. I get the feeling we are very close to the answers. Gee, Sergey, you think? <laughs> oh, yes. It looks like the door was unlocked some time ago. In fact, I'm a bit late with your login. Something was holding me up again. Lucas is probably waiting for you outside. Uh, there you are! I... have been waiting for you. Looks like you had your fair share of beauty sleep. <laughs> Honestly... Leia has so much energy right there. <laughs> well... I mean, it does feel like sleeping once you log out, right? I'm just glad they allow you to do that once you enter your room. I really needed the break after what happened yesterday. I sure lost my, my nerves, didn't I? Not very proud of that. I'm really impressed by how well you're taking all of this. Anyway, let's go to the hub again. 
They won't let me take today's quest unless I form a party with you. Alright, so considering all that new information, babe, what do you think the plot is? Um, well, they mentioned AI, so that's definitely going to be important. Yeah. I, I, I don't know where else. <laughs> Alright, ready to get today's quest. They're trying to turn the moon into a what into a person. <laughs> I will say I am curious because Sergey did his whole bit where he was like, "Oh, the other players probably aren't in comas," but then like, what is happening to them when they're all stuck here and they can't log out? Yeah, it's hard to say. Like, if they were all in comas, then surely he would have heard some news about that. So that must be why he didn't say anything about that. Yeah, like, yeah, because that would be newsworthy if a bunch of Crossworlds players fell into comas. But also, what are they doing right now? Yeah, like, if it wasn't for the fact we had access to Sergei, I'd almost say there's some kind of weird time dilation going on here. Hmm. Recruits, welcome back to CD Projekt Red. Today oh, we don't up. have. <laughs> Sorry, the joke's been on my mind since I saw that, okay? <laughs> Today we don't have any particular task for you. Go take a frickin' nap. That is all. Good luck, and be careful. Wait, that's all? They just want us to walk around and that's it? Oh, ugh. Seriously, this campaign is the worst. Actually, I had to look around before and I found a few nice places. So, since there's nothing to do, do you want me to show you around? Alright then, follow me! Well then... Welcome to my little Vermilion Wasteland tour. The happy music is playing, so nothing bad's going on. I will show you all the remarkable sights of this truly underappreciated landscape. Please come this way. Yeah, part of me feels like I should have taken him when we when we first met him, but like, you know. <laughs> Perhaps. But it's too late now, this is my character. Yeah. Here we are in the town center. The town doesn't really have a name, so let's just stick with Vermilion Town for now. Vermilion Town, home of the metal blocks and endless pipes. Nobody actually knows what's in the pipes, though. We're probably best off not knowing. Raw physical data. <laughs> that was a good last right. Vermilion Talon is also home of these friendly metal armored fellows. Like most folks, they don't like to be hit. They really don't like it. But what am I saying? You saw what happened yesterday. Also, be especially careful about that area in the north. They really don't like you to be there. Then again, some folks were talking about some nice treasure you can get when you manage to spe sneak past them. Ah, that's something we should do. Those fucking <laughs> This is not a surprise tool that will help us later. Now let's head to the... Now let's exit the town to the west. Yeah, they put frickin' detection mechanics in this game for some reason. See? Dead. Oh, the nice thing is, we actually don't immediately die to the laser if we have to be under a platform. Um. Holy shit, really? Oh, fuck! Oh, no! It reset us when we entered the area, but entering the area is synonymous with this cutscene. All right, now we can do this stuff. Yeah, all right. 
the stealth mission, see? If we enter the light, we die. Instantly. Thankfully, they As don't... stealth missions go. Thankfully, they don't really seem to turn around, like, at all. <laughs> oh, but they can see... Of course see not. Up. Why would they need... Oh, that's fucked. Lame. I get it. Yeah. All right. Still. Still, we can at least get some of the chests around here. Ah, man. Fun fact, there is, like, one side quest in the game that is a stealth mission. Huh. Yeah, it's not the, it's nothing much, but like, it encourages you to remove people from your party because they can be detected if they're, because party members can be detected. Which I guess is kind of true to how it would work in an actual video game, but still. Well, in an actual like, multiplayer scenario. Come on, elemental DNA. Precious metal. Useless. <laughs> Nice treasure. Like, genuinely, I just want the elemental DNA so I can get nice shoes or something, you know? <laughs> All girls know is find loot and buy shoes. <laughs> Women only want one thing and it's disgusting. <laughs> I mean, hey, at least we got some gold. Ah, yeah, so if you bump into them, you do in fact just perish. Unfortunate. Do you get to keep the treasure, or did that die with you? I think it saves... It should save chests and shit, because otherwise that'd be incredibly mean. <laughs> oh, we can just check. Do we have... <laughs> zero out of eleven chests, we do not keep... Fuck off, game. Fucked up. Fucked up and evil. Hey, Jolly, we're trying to get these chests. For no good reason, because it's not really stuff hyper distinct, other than the fact that if you don't get the chests now, you can never get them. Oh, God. God dang it. We're getting them for the joy of having them. Yeah, which unfortunately actually governs, the che governs any chests you pick up in the room, which I did not know before. That's tragic. Very mean. Ah, oh, well, it shouldn't take too long to do again. I just have to not get detected. Hopefully. See, if I simply sit here... On the edge of detection range. Yeah, exactly. We're playing Metal Gear Solid Hardcore Edition. Finally, we're playing Metal Gear on this channel. At long last. At long last. Not Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. <laughs> I forgot we streamed that. Yeah, it wasn't... Yeah, to be fair, it's not in our VODs because that was before we started doing those. Yeah, but still, I remember a lot of the pre-VOD streams. I don't remember Rising. I mean, hey. Are you doing alright, lady? No. No. Yeah, to be fair, which one do you remember less, Infamous or Prototype? No, I think about Prototype all the time. I could never forget Prototype. Yeah. Alright. So yeah, that's two of the chests. So, we're just out of town, and oh look! It's one of these devices. Yet the almighty plot decided we're not ready to proceed, so these things remain unresponsive. <laughs> Nothing to do here, so let's appreciate the amazing nature of this place. This way! 
Also, yes, to answer your question, Jolly, we're having a great time. My girlfriend is going insane trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. <laughs> There's things happening and I... Oh, this is... a lake. <laughs> Thank you, Leia. Me Very too. cool. <laughs> Me too, Leia. Why? Because it's filled with water. Or whatever that purple stuff is. This is the poison area of Elden Ring, the next FromSoft game. <laughs> Why? Sorry, this tour doesn't include basic scientific explanations. Yeah, including what baby jail is. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> what a tough customer. I'm sure Trani would have a good explanation for you. And he'd probably also complain about those weird rock formations. Let's continue. Off to the north. Be careful not to step on a virus along the way. It is rather curious that the enemies of this zone are literally just viruses. It's... like, this zone is weird and fucked up. Oh, it absolutely is. I wonder if I killed enough of these things to actually unlock the virus botanica. Well, that was enough to level up again. Congrats on the level. Real quick, monster fibula. I think these... yeah. A strange being that roams the lands of Vermilion Wasteland. It randomly jumps on prey and attacks them multiple times. Luckily, they're made of fucking paper, so you don't have to worry. <laughs> Simply perish. Hi? You too. I'm giving up. I'm not pronouncing his weird words. So you got the quest for the second trial building already. Yes, finally. That really took some time. I was bored senseless yesterday. You, you can say that loudly. I was bored senseless yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no quest for us today, so all we can do is have a look around. That's too bad. Yeah, RNGs are interesting enemies with Rubik's Cube heads. RNG? RNG? I don't know. I'm sure the quest will be there for you soon as well. Alright, let's see what's to the north. Now we enter the realm of Ebony Forest. As expected, it's full of trees. Yet there are no evil wolves in this forest. It's just viruses as always. Oh, RNG. I'm We're so smart, babe. <laughs> oh, I got that. Did you not? I did not. No. <laughs> I'm stealing your power. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to obfuscate the plot as much as possible so that the big reveals are even bigger <laughs> for you. <laughs> I am attempting to sabotage your mind. <laughs> and it's backfiring supremely. <laughs> well, also, no bugs. I'm sure Emily would be glad to hear that. Seriously, though, Emily and her fear of bugs. I don't quite get it. We made such a huge deal out of the Fajro Temple Moths. That giant moth, right? But when I asked her about the mid-boss, that ant lion, no problem there. Oh yeah, I remember that thing with its weird, awful sack? Ooh. How? <laughs> 
Yeah, apparently it's all good because it's slow and stuck in the sand. Personally, I thought the antlion was much higher on the scary scale. It was certainly much more disturbing. <laughs> right? Well, that's Emily for you. Let's continue. Over there is a pretty interesting spot. Also, in my defense about not realizing the RNG name, it's because my brain was stuck on, like, a weird virus theme going on. So I thought it was just, like, a name of, like, a cell or something. <laughs> also, where did he go? He went somewhere. He walked around. <laughs> he simply vanished. Oh, there he is. He's simply gone. We'll never see him again. <laughs> and Lucas died that day. And was never seen again. It's like you can still hear his voice hanging in the wind. <laughs> I call this here the Field of the Indecisive Flowers. Indecisive because they can't decide on what height to grow. I mean, just look at them. Some are stuck on ground levels, others several meters high. Why? Look, I can't even explain a lake to you, so what do you expect now? Of course Lucas would be the first person in human history to be able to shut down constant whys. <laughs> He's just like, man, I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, those flowers are awfully convenient for an elaborate jumping path, don't you think? I mean, this wouldn't be Crossworlds without unlikely jumping paths literally everywhere. Right, well, Jaldi, I can't wait to see what those are. I can't wait to see those two, because... I'm gonna be <laughs> honest, I do not remember the snowman, and... Penguin Boss, wasn't that the one for the car that was just a beatboxer? Rapper? Something? The only thing I'm missing here is the treasure chest to collect. Uh, so I suppose we both can guess when those flowers will come into play. Enough of this forest. Let's go back to the lake. There's one more location I want to show you. Alright. It's time to see what the good location of the lake is. Honestly, here's a good question. How bad do you think this area stinks? <laughs> This is the cliffside. It's where you realize that this place is actually pretty small. And yes, there is indeed no exit. Well, actually, there is that one door just over here. Also, yes, Jolly, you know what? That does make sense. Challenge runs will make the weirdest things impossible. <laughs> yep, it's a door. I have no idea where it leads, but it's as close as it gets to an exit. Of course, it's locked. Yeah, so fun fact about that door, that's actually how we come back here for the finale. That's fun. Hmm... I didn't plan to end the tour on such a depressing note. Actually, now that I think about it, there is one more thing I'd like to show you. We'll have to run back all the way to the East Town, though. What, is the old granny tired already? Also, Jolly has volunteered a smell for this zone. Vinegar. 
Vinegar's a good one. Um, no wonder the people here are so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are. This is the last thing I want to show you today. I feel like this place would probably smell like mildew. Like, um, I was at a place and the sink was leaking for a really long time. And it was this weird putrid smell. I feel it would smell like that. Yeah. I know it's hard to miss. It's the huge tower up there. And yet somehow we didn't see that. <laughs> oh, oh, that tower. <laughs> okay. So in the other place you told me about it. Yeah, that's the splash screen. That's the new splash screen for Slay the Spire. <laughs> uh. It seems like there is a way to get up to this tower. Some of our fellow inmates went there and never came back. So that can mean two things. Either they escaped, or they just disappeared. Yes, those are the only two options. <laughs> anyway, you can only get there once you finish the second trial building. Let's hope they'll give us the quest for that soon. And yes, this concludes today's tour. It sure was pointless, but I still hope you had a good time. <laughs> First Rookie Harbor, now Vermilion Wasteland. Guess I should think about a career as a tour guide. Unless I'm already doing that in real life. I still don't remember much about my life outside of Crossworlds. Oh yeah, they all just got... Oh yes, Jolly, they all just got lost in that one cafe. <laughs> they got lost in the gift shop. They couldn't make it to the perfume department. Wait! Hmm? Do you mean it will all come with time? I sure hope so. Now then. Anything else today? We can still have a look around. Otherwise, I'm ready to hit the hay. Eh. Honestly, let's call it here. We'll do that all... If we're gonna do any side stuff, we can do it when we do the final trial building. Because after that's the point of no return. Alright. Guess that's all for today. See you soon! Bye! Good night! Yeah. Now it's time to have a very enlightening conversation with Sergei, where we finally choke all the answers out of him. <laughs> Just... shake him! <laughs> Grab the screen and shake it so hard his monitor <laughs> falls over. <laughs> so, now we are back in the room. I'm still trying to wrap my head around all of this. Why are these players stuck in this place? And why did they lose all their memory? Just what exactly is the whole point of this place? And just how in the world can all this happen without anything being reported? Wait... Huh? Is something wrong? <laughs> yes, yeah, Sergey, why don't you report it? Um... <laughs> Oh, you mean I could report all of this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bud, you could! Theoretically, yes, but that would be a bad idea. Why? Because what we both are doing here is unofficial. At least, I do not have the approval of the company to log you into Crossworlds. Could you imagine the backlash if you somehow ended up in a worse coma because of this? <laughs> 
I essentially snuck you into the game. That is exactly why we have to be careful to not draw too much attention. And that is also why I cannot afford to act carelessly when tampering with the game's system. Crossworlds is designed with an insane amount of security checks to prevent cheating and other kinds of abuse. Even simple things like moving you out of this place, it will very quickly lead to a ban. There are ways to get around these checks, but my options are very limited right now, because I do not have access to the environment server of this region. Really, nobody should have access to it because this area was discontinued. Still, I'm looking for ways to get you out of this. It will be tricky, but it is definitely possible. Shall we call the day? Oh uh, yeah, if you're wondering about Jolly's latest statement, what the... One of the New Game Plus options is, base, is basically you one-shot everything, and it's specifically called Sergey Hacks. <laughs> and it is That's the universe where Sergey just doesn't give a shit and lets you cheat. It's acknowledged in-universe, too. Okay, <laughs> good night, Leia. Bye! Whoa. Oh, so we're having an actual dream this time, and not a prophecy. <laughs> oh, is that Lucas? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I call it the field of indecisive flowers. You like this place, don't you? I suppose it's as good as it gets for a bleak location like this. It definitely beats being stuck in that one room all the time. It would be nice to show you all the other places out there. Someday. I honestly can't remember if there's like... I feel like there's another person I'm just not properly remembering. Who knows? Good morning, Leia. Hi... Oh yes, I really, I really do need to do a playthrough with Sergey Hacks just to see Apollo Justice go mad. <laughs> oh, I miss Apollo. We haven't seen him in so long. Yeah, because like, so many of the New Game Plus options, Apollo does respond to because they're very blatantly not supposed to be like that. It's great. <laughs> so, anything new you remembered? Okay, I see. Well then, time to head out, correct? Also, babe. This might yes. seem like odd timing, but something very crucial is about to happen. How do you think the plot is going right now? What do you think is going on? Stop foreshadowing! I don't know! <laughs> you don't, huh? <laughs> I'm being menaced. Wait. Wasn't the door open just before? What? Why? Um... I'll tell you this. There's a reason why I vo There's a reason why I had you voice Leia. What is oh. going on here? Some kind of fight? Why? Do the players here start a rebellion of sorts? Sh Shizuka, you you're still So You're back again? Hi <laughs> I'm going to be- I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, babe. This completely blindsided me on my first playthrough. I'm... Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah! I'm feeling a little blindsided right now! What is this? You can speak now? Why? Why? That is what I want to ask. Why are you here? You are supposed to be gone! Not very talkative after all, I see. 
When was the last time we met? A year ago? You don't remember, do you? Of course not. They tried to undo everything. Tried to fix you. All the lengths they went through for you. I just don't get it. Why? Shut your mouth! Well then, allow me to refresh your memory. I don't know exact I don't know what exactly they told you. About who you are, why you're here, and where those memories come from. Whatever they told you, it's a lie. Ah! Shizuka, please don't. Seeing, ah! seeing me might feel strange to you, like looking into a mirror. That's no coincidence. It's because we're the same person. No, that's not right. We're not the same. I am the original. You are just a oh copy. Oh my god, are we an AI? Yep. I told you we were Shizuka before oh. all this happened. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. A copy of my avatar, that's what. You're an AI. A program. Nothing else. That is why you'll never be able to leave the game. You can deny it all you want, it won't change anything. The more you remember, the more it will become clear to you. And all those memories you see, those are mine. My memories, my personality, it's all copied. The next big step in artificial intelligence is what they call you. What a joke. A miserable copy, that's what you are. Why? Shut up! We all, um, we all ended up in this hell because of you. And for what? A program with access to all of my memories? Just how the hell did they ever think this was a good idea? I said, shut up! You talking was the last thing I needed. You have no right to exist. Whoever brought you back should just delete you immediately. Oh, Leia, honey, sweetie, darling, gravy. Oh, 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 oh. Well then, have a nice day. Oh, bye. <laughs> Why? Why? No. Why? L Leia, please. Why? Leia, please calm down. Why? Sh Shizuka was just lying. You do not have to- you must not believe her. Why? Nothing's working. She isn't responding. Why? Leia, can you still hear me? Why? Leia, please, you have to get over this. Why? I cannot afford to lose you, please! Why? You're the only lead I have! Please! All I can tell you is that there is hope. Leia? Bye. Do, do you want to log out? Leia? Bye. Leia, what is... Bye! Leia, please. Bye! Leia, please let me... Bye! Bye! Bye!
Hey! Okay. I will be quiet. Uh... Yeah, they know how to write a real intense fucking scene. Like, I was so curious what was going on. This was such a happy-go-lucky thing, even if it was a little worrying. But now it's just like... Then this game comes in, grabs you by the throat, and just fucking goes to town on you. Uh. Yeah... Leia's not doing so hot right now, is she? Oh, no, she's not! Hey! Um... Good morning. Hi. Did you also hear the alarm from before? I wonder what just happened. It sounded like somebody was fighting within the dormitory. Um, is everything okay? You don't look too well today. Did something happen? Um, should we just go to the quest hub for today's quest? Okay. Yep. Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm sorry about those good vibes you wanted. <laughs> it's, it's fine, I'm having so much fun. I just shit's fucked. I mean, hey, if you want some good vibes... Uh, Shizuka calling Leia fake honestly made me think of Shadow and Sonic. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. I am sure someone... <laughs> has made that reference, has just fully animated that scene. It doesn't help that they have the exact same colors. It doesn't help that Shizuka's all dark and edgy <laughs> while Leia's blue. <laughs> okay, time to enter space again. Oh man, Jaldi, I can't wait to see what the DLC has to make me that angry. Recruits, welcome back to Project Red. Today we have a new mission for you. Your task is to inspect the Northern Trial Building. To gain access to the building, you need to locate and activate these devices in the lake and forest region to the west. That is all. Good luck, and be careful. Like, once again, I hate... I hate them for doing this, but shout out to the people who made the sprites for this game. It's good. It's good sprite work. Dust dry as usual. Well, at least we got a proper quest today. Look, it's clear something isn't quite right with you. Should we somehow try to talk about it? No? Or we just go ahead and solve today's quest? Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's good to know, Jolly. I was worried the get—I was worried the DLC was gonna pull out something real cheap and gut punchy. DLC just pulls out a gun and shoots you. DLC just straight up executes Emily. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I want to know. There isn't even any music going on right now. There sure isn't. 
Leia's having a time. She sure is. Oh. Like, like, imagine having to go through that scene and then just coming back to this. Welcome back to video games. <laughs> Have fun. My god, yeah, just imagine how I felt doing this. I... <laughs> If I was playing this by myself, I think I would need to go and take a walk afterwards. Yeah, like, honestly. God. These things are not well placed for this. <laughs> like, on the one hand, I kind of want to respect the moment, but, like... That would just be very... That'd just be a very long, quiet sequence for us, so... You know. Keep the energy up and yeah. all. Yeah. I'm so sorry you want it. I'm so sorry you specifically want to see this to try and unwind. <laughs> it's, it's fine. This has given me a, a release in a different way. Catharsis through suffering, huh? Yeah. It's like why people watch horror movies and they don't. when they. Don't want to be scared. I don't know. Yeah, horror movies are fun for just getting a specific emotion out of you. Emotional exhaustion, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, like, Psyche Jolly, do you think we actually managed to give that scene justice? I hope we did. That was fun. That was a very good scene. And yeah, I'm very glad I did. And yes, there was a very, very good reason why Shizuka was played by me, you know? <laughs> yeah, you really, you really got me. Oh, those, that stops those in place. Okay. Uh, yeah, like, oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, I'm unfortunately on a bit of a delay because my internet loves to stutter. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I, I realized we were having some kind of connection issue, which was unfortunate for this specifically, but like, <laughs> yeah, if we did the rest well, then I'm happy about that, at least. <laughs> like, it's been so long since we've had to, like, compensate for weird, for weird lag and reading. Like, I think the last time we did something like that was in Twoey. Yeah, the Twoey streams had a bit of a delay, too. Yeah. Just unfortunate the game decided to act up the day, huh? <laughs> Yeah, it's unfortunate that my internet decided to be crusty today of all times. Yeah. There's nothing like just doing this in awkward silence, you know? <laughs> yeah, without the music, you just get to hear, like, the combat slaps. It's very strange. Yeah. I mean, if there was ever a time to turn off music, it would be now, you know? Yeah, it's good. It's good for dramatic effect. Because if we weren't here, you'd have no choice but to soak in what the fuck just happened. You would just have to process it, and that is a very good. Yeah. Yeah, and then the other one should be at the lake. 
so honestly we can just teleport. <laughs> I feel bad for Lucas. He doesn't know what's going on. Yeah, Schneider really doesn't. So, we'll be good to stream tomorrow, yeah? Yeah, we will. I, like, basically have no homework this weekend once I finish the one project I was talking to you about. Cool. Yeah, we're gonna have tomorrow's stream a bit late, because, again, been disappointment at 11, but other than that... Hell yeah. Because, like, if nothing else, I do want to finish off this whole storyline. It's good! It's real good. Yeah. God, yeah. Yeah, like Jolly said, this moment is great at just, like, putting everything in perspective. Yeah, like... Uh... Yeah, like, I was so curious about what was going on, because, like... They do a good job of misdirecting you away from the AI thing, despite it being the only reasonable explanation of how dodgy everything is. Yeah... Because it's like, you spend the whole game assuming, oh, well, we're not sure why, but Shizuka, but obviously, we're Leia, and Leia was Sh and Leia's obviously Shizuka. And... In the in the same scene they introduced the concept of AI, they also reinforced that fact that yes, Leia was Shizuka. Yeah, it's it's really good. What is the point of this rock? You know, so you can jump and die. Jump or die? No, jump and die. All the cool kids are doing it. <laughs> Yeah, like, honestly, the AI thing should have been should have been obvious enough to just recontextualize the entire game. But they managed to drag it back the last second to keep you distracted. Like, they, they did- oh, it's, I'm in awe of how the writers pulled this off. Yeah, because they gave you that little AI tidbit, and then immediately gave you some info about Leia. Yeah, they they gave you this and then they 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 jingled their keys and they distracted you. Yeah. Oh, right, we can go up here. <laughs> Look, we're praising the game for emotionally destroying us, okay? <laughs> Oh, I see. Oh, boy. Wahoo! Well, you know what? We're gonna be doing the DLC on these streams. Oh, hell yeah. Alright. Well, let's get the second trial building finished off. And that'll probably be the last thing we do on this stream. Yeah, so the stream after that is us actually leaving the Vermilion Wastelands. <laughs> I'm sure nothing bad will happen. I'm gonna be completely honest, for half a second I saw this door lighting up and thought it was like a funny face. <laughs> it's just a friendly little guy! Okay, here we go again. Huh? Enemies already? Let us enter the damn building first! I 
Dang it. Finally! So, should we enter? Honestly, I don't have a good feeling about this. There'll probably be more high-level enemies in there. And with you being like this today... Should we continue another time? There is no reason to rush this, right? It really would help if you'd respond... at all. I mean... I understand why you'd feel down in a situation like this. Yeah, like, I didn't mention it because her eyes have glitched out in scenes before when she's stressed. But it does get a little bit more, but it does feel a bit stronger during that scene. It's, it was real cool. But things don't have to stay that way. I'm sure we'll find a way out. Out of this place, out of this game. Oh no, she looks so sad! We just shouldn't lose hope. A million poxes upon the portrait designers. <laughs> I, I want to take her out for ice cream. No! Ah. <laughs> uh. Show me the one crosscode player who doesn't just fucking adopt Leia right here and now. Leia, I'm taking you out for ice cream. Everything will be fine. Leia? Uh, oh. Oh. Uh. The view here isn't all that bad, hmm? Okay, look. I can't keep watching you like this. There must be a way to help you out of this. We gotta try to talk about this. Somehow. I'll just ask some questions, okay? Okay, let's see. I suppose you remembered something about yourself. Something that made you sad? Okay, so what could it be? Did you lose somebody dear to you? Hmm, did somebody betray you? Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. Just what did this person exactly do to you? Are all your troubles because of that person? So there's something else. Man, this is hard. I wonder how the others are doing. Flynn, Buggy, Emily, all of them. It seemed like you got along quite well with Emily and Trani, didn't you? So, I'm sure we'll be missed. In difficult times like these, it's good to know there are people out there that care for you. Even though it looks like we're on our own for now. I think it's probably better if we call it a day. Let's finish the trial building tomorrow, okay? Alright then, back to the dormitory. Yep, and that right there is 
Really why Schneider's one of my favorite characters in this game. Oh, he's, he's just a good dude. Yeah. Anyway, we'll pick this up tomorrow, everyone. <laughs> it's It's been fun. It's been a time. Yeah. And to think, we only had today's stream because you want to let off some steam. <laughs> I came here for a fun time and I did get a time. Well... This has been CrossCode, everyone. This has been... The absolute high points of CrossCode's writing. It was really good. Like, this is gen- like, that scene is genuinely one of the biggest sucker punches I have ever felt playing video games. <laughs> but, that has been Crosscut, everyone. We'll finish off this incredibly emotional journey of the Vermilion Waste tomorrow. Have a good day, and goodbye. Bye! <laughs> Yeah.